Hey everyone, it is The Charming Giraffe, and we are here to do another painting today. Um, I really enjoyed the painting we did last week with the ice cube tray, so we are going to do that again. I can only find one glove. Oh well, we'll make it do. Um, so I've already poured it because it does take a while, so I didn't subject you to it. Um, but what I did is instead of using black and white like we did last week, is I just kind of mixed the colors. So I poured red and then orange. And then I did orange and then yellow. And then yellow and then green. And then green and then blue. And blue and purple. Purple, pink. Pink and then just gold because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> so I went with that's the colors here. So there's no blacks or whites. I will put some color down around the... To help it flow. I haven't quite decided that yet so we'll get this flipped first and then we'll do that part. All right. We are messy. It's okay. Um, we're gonna go with white. and hope it doesn't sell up too much. Cause I know, which means I probably shouldn't have shake, shooken, shooken it, shaken it, shaken, shaken. We'll go with shaken. Probably shouldn't have done that. But oh well, it'll be okay. It's mainly just to help it flow. Which it does help. A lot. So I'm gonna pop all these bubbles because I'm afraid that if I don't, then it will sell. <laughs> so let me do that real fast. has given it time to settle in the ice cube tray. Um, just so you know, all of those colors I used were Artist Loft Flow Acrylic mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, the orange and the purple and the pink are all ones that I custom made. Just using the colors that take to make them. Alright, we're just going to get messy today. Can't handle that. And here we go. <coughs> Pretty cool so far. Will be some definite tilting here, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Doesn't look like some of those cooler cover colors are going to take over this painting. I'm going to try to maintain colors as much as possible. I've done a pretty good job. All right, yeah. Check out all the sides here. Since my hands are already covered in paint, 
And surprisingly, I've got a variety of colors. Not surprisingly, I guess is more the term here. I've got a variety of colors to choose from when I go to do this. So I can kind of make the sides match what's on the top. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to go wash my hands real fast because I can't, can't with all this. And then we'll come back, I'll torch it and bring you in for the close up. All right, here we are for the close up. Yeah, super exciting. All right, let's see here. We're in the lower left hand corner with the pinks and the golds. And then moving into, I don't know why the color keeps shifting. It's like the light in here keeps changing. And then we've got the purples and the pinks mixing with the blues. And then the blues and the purples. I love those cells. And that like dark stripe of purple through. Because it goes all the way through the whole painting. Really cool. And then the blues and the greens mixing. And some little green cells popping through, through the yellow. And then just these warm colors look amazing together. With all those cells and some yellow lacing through there. And then over to the upper right hand corner. Those red cells peeking through where the orange and the yellow were touching. Yeah, this like stripe right here is my favorite. So beautiful. And back down to the pinks and the purples. And then back down to the gold. And that looks bright yellow on your camera and it's not, it's definitely gold. <laughs> so, and here's the side where all that gold is too. Looks like I've missed a spot. I'll catch it in a second, but. We will zoom out for a final shot. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Do what makes you happy.